we're, we're getting now down toward the end of the career. You're still putting up numbers, um, but obviously we get into 2013. The biogenesis steroid mm -hmm. scandal happens. You've answered this question 3,000 times, but there's no way that you and I are going to sit out here and I'm not going to ask you about biogenesis, which led to, you know, a denial initially by you and then a suspension by Major League Baseball. You appealed at the end of 2013, but you're out for the entire 2014 season. I mean, that's it's the stiffest penalty anybody's paid. Yeah, look, um, I, I made a huge mistake. Um, you know, I my first reaction was angry and pissed, and I hired a bunch of attorneys and advisors and crisis managers, and. I fought back and I denied it. And I thought 211 games was way too much. And everyone says, well, Alex got a bunch of bad advice. Well, I think that's BS. Alex hired a bunch of people. I was the quarterback. I made every decision. I pressed every button and I made a mistake. And then I doubled down and made it even worse. And, and that's on me. And uh, the point for me, Joe, was I had a, a, an older friend uh, from the DC area who's an attorney, who was my, uh, gave me great advice over the years. And he basically said to me, Alex, not only are you ruining your baseball career, you're also ruining your life. And if you don't do something to fix it fast, you're gonna be screwed. And I slept on that. That was a late night call. I woke up the next day completely depressed, but knowing he was right. And I called him back and I said, you're right. I screwed up, I'm ready to address this head on. And I said, can you help me? And he said, I can, it may be too late. So at that point I got rid of everyone and I started the process to coming back to, I didn't know what baseball was gonna be like, but I wanted to get my life back in order. There had to be some freedom for you admitting the use of performance enhancing drugs. I mean, it, it's something you're carrying around with you from the moment you do it, knowing that that could come out at any point. And now it's out. Now, now we know. And you know, what was that like when, when you, you know, you faced the music and, and admitted that you had done wrong? Yeah. I mean, there's so many frustrating things when you look back at that. I mean, number one, you have a guaranteed contract for hundreds of millions of dollars. Literally, you can sit on the couch and get fat, <laughs> right? I mean, how stupid can you be? And then in the time of the whole biogenesis, in my 23-year career, it was by far the worst year of my career. I think I hit six home runs. And this thing cost me over $40 million. And it cost me my reputation. And it may have cost me the Hall of Fame and, and a number of other things. And I got to tell you that I would sit there, Joe, and I got a call from a representative of the union and said, it's not 211 games, it's 162 games. And it was an early in the call morning and I fell down to my knees and I started crying. And I'm like, I, I, I wanted 50 games, I wanted 100 games, but in hindsight, I needed the full season of 14 to rehab my life, to have a reflection point, and to turn that lens inward and start thinking about some of the issues that I've had as a childhood kind of building out of this. And I remember sitting there at night at four or five o'clock in the morning, I probably did this a hundred nights, and I would look up with tears and say, how the F did I get myself in this position? I'm the only jackass that has pocket aces and figures out a way to lose the hand. And I was so upset with myself. Like I just, it was hard for me to live with myself. I don't, I don't want to sit out here and make excuses for you, but I, I think, you know, did you feel then the pressure to do this, to help you perform and do your job? What, what led to the use? Obviously it wasn't performance that hit six home runs. I mean, I was, I was awful, right? But after having two hip surgeries, um, I just wanted to get back on the field and give the Yankees their money's worth. And I just needed to do anything. It was my responsibility to the fan base, to management, to ownership, to get out there and play. And I, I, I was in too much pain. I couldn't play. And uh, 
that doesn't give you an excuse to break the rules. And uh, I made a mistake and I paid a penalty. And then the hardest thing I had to do, I had to admit to Natasha and Ella the mistake that I made. Your daughters. My daughters. And I needed Cynthia um, to be part of that. And, and I told Cynthia, when I sit down with the girls, um, they're going to be listening to me, but they're going to be looking at you. And chances are not, I'm not going to make it past first base because I'm going to probably start breaking down. And sure enough, uh, I almost didn't get out of home plate. <laughs> and, uh, you know, doing that, admitting that to them, and then having them embrace me and hug me uh, and to a degree forgive me, as I look forward, Joe, I think about, you know, I never want to put myself in a position that I have to explain myself to my daughters ever again.